Okay, so we have seen the performance of Sam Vega. On to the next. Image Dynamics. ID8. ID Q8. I've always been curious about Image Dynamics. I've heard them in business. Uh, see them on Facebook, stuff like that, but I never actually owned one. So I didn't order a larger one, a larger sub. I might, eventually I will be testing the larger sub. Right now I'm sticking with the boys that I use my application to read up. So I ordered an ID8. You can get them off Amazon for, I think, $159, but I believe $159. Or you can message me and I can get them for you with a warranty and all that too as well. Uh, you know she's brand, brand new to you in the box. Uh, well, let's read what comes in the box. It's going to do an unboxing. It says that the true balance, ID8, this is on the back of the box, says the true balance of power and grace, able to reproduce very high output levels with incredible quality and accuracy. More than the sum of the parts, the IDQ is extreme evolution and subwoofer performance. With increased discouragement, new suspension design, higher power handling, it plays lower and louder than ever before, with even better sound quality and true balance of power and grace. Uh, the all new IDQ subwoofers redefine performance for small enclosure subwoofers, particularly in detail with proper tone accuracy and even extreme volume levels. They provide incredible dynamic impact necessary when attaining extremely low frequency extension from the smallest of enclosure sizes. Every part was engineered from the ground up and is the result of substantial experience in subwoofer design. Motor structures were optimized for long linear excursion and low distortion performance using the latest finite while reducing mass. Mm. So it's got a low MMS. Yeah, so it's got a very light cone. Uh, it's probably got, I don't know, it says it uses the latest finite element and our software. The cone was engineered to increase stiffness while reducing mass. Made lighter. The new patent pending voice core attachment was engineered to improve assembly efficiency while improving reliability and durability. Removable core assembly allows for a painting of the basket or fill service. The moving assembly, including cones surrounding voice core, were engineered to keep mass to a minimum so that a high compliance suspension could be used. This maximizes efficiency and output over the subwoofer's entire frequency range. The removable core assembly allows you to custom match the basket color to your installation. Another feature of the removable core assembly is if the subwoofer ever requires service, it allows you to replace the whole moving assembly quickly and easily. So, <laughs> the entire saw parts, you can basically, what I think they're saying is you can recone this sub with no glue. You just pull the whole thing out. So we're gonna look and see what he got in the box. And this is this is the box. And I was just reading all this stuff right here. And I've always been curious about IDQ. I wanted to have one and play one for, my, for myself. And that's what I have. What I do like about them is this this sub is actually made, and all of them are made in the USA. It's got a flat one coil. Uh Everything about it is made in the USA and it's pretty reasonably priced for a subwoofer that's completely made in the USA, particularly when you look at stuff like digital designs. Uh, five, for the price for a subwoofer that's made completely in the United States, hey, and I know a lot of you scream that, you know, made in the USA, made in the USA, this, that, and that. A lot of stuff is designed and engineered here, but it ain't made here. This is completely made here. So once you bust the tape, you open the box, and you come to this. You take that out, which is two parts. I say they didn't spend a lot of money on packaging, but I think this packaging is su sufficient enough to protect the subwoofer. You get an image dynamic sticker, so you put it on your back window, and everybody knows what you got in there, and then when you park the vehicle, they can steal it. Okay. You also get this very in-depth and close recommendation. Mm. Very in depth. Has the TS uh, parameters, X-Man 
Mac 14. Look at the MMS. What the hell is on here? They got the QTS 0.43. This is a dual. This is a dual four. I um, took it down to two on. I didn't want to get a dual two and have it try to take the full power of my phone read that way. It might not be a good thing. The dis displacement of speakers 0 0.05 is good. It's not a very deep big speaker. It's five inches. Cut out 7.26. Screw hole diameter. Outside diameter. Cut out screw hole diameter is 7.76. Both coils must be used at all times. There's 500 RMS, and this is what I like right here. I like this right here. It gives you the three different encoders you can put it in. And remember, I was telling y'all that the manufacturer is always going to give you the, the middle one. And most manufacturers give you the middle one. Here they give you the universal, which is 0.53, or 0.75, which is most of them saying 0.75. Uh, compact, 0.5. And I always tell you, eight, most eights can play in 0.5. This one came as well. Uh, they want you to tune it to 40, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to tune it to 32 or 33. Then the audio file is one key. Uh, if you want to sing a reflex band player, they say call for assistance. And they got the phone number here that you can call. Or you can contact sales and image dynamic. They say that sealed enclosures are very strongly suggested for most users. So I will using the displacement they have listed, build a sealed enclosure just to hear what they do seal. Hmm. So, once you get out of that, you get the wolf come out in plastic. Oh! They got little gaskets to help you put around the cutout. To help with the ceiling. I mean, if you cut out, you know, you don't have a circle jig or a uh, but I got, uh, circle tool that I have to cut my circles out. I got two of them, a chassis jig and the whip car. I'll do a video on that one day. So then you get the subwoofer. Come out the classic, and I must say, does look exactly like on the picture. Uh, ooh, I like this. This motor boot, hey, you can very easily see the top plate and the bottom plate here. It is not vented at all. You see that? Not vented at all. Uh, their motor, their magnet boot is like sandwiched in between the top the top and the bottom plate. This is rubber. The logo, that's kind of neat. You can still take it off, which is what I said you're gonna put in. If you're gonna put it inside an enclosure, well, I keep the heat on, but you know, it's nice and seamless. This is definitely original bath. It's a stamp steel basket. And I want to see this total removal of cone assembly they're talking about. How do you, how do you remove it in the feet? I don't see that. I don't see how you can remove this whole thing. And it's not, I see the screws up under here for the, the gasket. But how would you move, how did you move, does this come off? Does it twist? It says total removal assembly. I don't see how you do that. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> it's, uh, let me put the camera in. You see that? Right here? Yeah. You undo those screws, and then you undo the screws on the, on the, on the uh, spider, and then this should just come completely off. Hey, and they say you can do it with no glue. It seals itself with no glue. So you one, two, three, eight holes. And it's going to seal itself right back. Mm. 
Interesting. Speaker terminal. Oh, I do like that. The terminals, the tilt of these is thrown directly into the spider. The spider seems to be a, it seems to me to be a linear spider. A lot of information on the slide that you can use to call them. That's nice for those of you who are not going to get a custom enclosure for me. You might want to build your own custom enclosure. You could contact them in Ontario, California. Email, phone numbers, fax numbers, the phone number you can call, reach somebody. It's nice. It's very nice. This is an in depth flyer. So this cone is completely removable. Uh, this whole assembly, the cone, the spider, everything, it just comes off in one piece. That's very, very neat. The tilts of these are, I think that is, you can stuff 10 gauge in there. You can stuff 10 gauge in there, which is all you need for 500 watts. And I tell y'all, so as long as it's rated between 500 and 700 watts, that's all you need for 8 inch. Any more than that, you need to get your bigger subwoofer. <sighs> mm, very, got some mm, dense magnet or a dense top plate. I like the top plate. Top plate is definitely right at three eighths, if not a little more. Uh, the cooling, I would think, I guess the cooling is just these little vents here. Cause it's definitely gonna cool on the bottom of the motor. There's no pole bending. Uh, rubber surround. Poly board, parabolic cone. And let's see if it's stiff. Let's see if it's on Let's touch it. No, not really stiff. But boy, ooh. And remember, this is a flat round. This is a flat round core here, so it's gonna stay cool. It did take a lot of power. Stay relatively cool. Oh man, what is this? Oh, they got at the bottom on the other side of the cone is holes for venting, probably force air over the coil. Yeah, buddy. Very. Nice, very nice looking boy here. Hmm, I can't wait to get this in the box, see what it do. Real talk. I can't wait to get this in the box, see what it do, man. Good God. Yeah, Henry Dynamic. My first time with Henry Dynamic Q. Y'all get a good look at that. Make sure I look at all that. Yeah. See, these are sound quality geniuses. This is, this, this is made in rare quality. It's nice. Nice, nice. Hope I'm giving y'all another look at it. I just see it just looking at it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, lot. Possibly. Possibly like it enough to run four of them. <laughs> yeah. 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 Y'all know me. I will change it up. Why? Because I can. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I've reached 500 subscribers, man. I want to thank each and every last one of you. Uh, in the future, uh, I will have, as I, I think I, as I, when I get that, when I get to 750 subscribers, let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. Let's do an 8 inch and an NBA enclosure. In fact, let's do, let's do the 750 subscribers. Let's get 
a horn enclosed. And I ate it. Fucking NBD. You just gotta pay shit for that. How about that? Yeah, that's, that's what's on there. But thanks y'all for the 500 I got. I thank y'all for tuning into the channel. Hope I'm able to give you information that you can use, real world information that you can use on different subwoofers. Uh, how to get your system sound uh, the best you can. Some people like how I talk. Some people like other people talk just in the car. Yo, hey, man, whatever, whoever you can understand, that's where you get information, get your information from. But I just want to thank the 500 subscribers that I have. And I try to keep the page entertaining. Here, I know I'm entertaining in itself, but you never know what I'm going to do. This is my channel. This is, this is my CNN, NBC, CBS, NBE. But man, this is a very, this, I was always, look, I was very, always intrigued by how this subwoofer looks. And I definitely do like this Made in America performance. Is this a dual car? No, nah, it's a single spider. I don't know how deep it is. I can't tell if it's really a, a it looks lean. But it, the cone is not stiff. There's a lot of flexation in this joke. Yes, but it's a lot of flexation in here. This joke will move. But you know what I'm saying? You know what I say, man. We gonna see. <laughs> we gonna see what they do, baby. Peace. Let me be out of here, man. Like, subscribe, and share.